Peace and greetings. What's up, y'all? This is Queen Sarita here with another Documenting My Life or Documenting My Life Journey. And I am in my kitchen right now. I've um, got some tea on. This detox tea is a citrus detox tea, which is really good. And for the most part, it's got some really good ingredients. And I'm going to see about taking a picture of the tag on this bag. And it's from Natural Grocers. So I'm about to have me a cup of tea. And then that's pretty much what I'm about to do before I do readings. Now I just wanted to touch base with you all and say that um, I hope you're having a wonderful day. And um, I'm sure you're getting a lot of insight at this time as I am. It it's just was a Capricorn eclipse. Um, yeah, a lot of insights. And a lot of people are having a lot of turbulence right now. Things um, like the it's things erupting, if you will. Like volcanoes erupting. And really just people having to go back and fix something that they didn't do. At the beginning, you know, of a, a job they got, in a relationship, just structural things. Structural things have to do with Capricorn a lot of times. So, you know, so it's a really good time for meditation because it can be a little intense, you know, for your person. Beyond that, I did say that I would be working on a new series and finishing up another series. It'll be warmer today, so I'm going to go out here in to my uh, magic house, <laughs> behind the house, and get... It's a tiny home behind the house, so I'm going to go back there and get this... Um, what is it? Go get my tarot journals and stuff and begin finishing up the tarot lessons because the divination information that I'll be putting out that information is connected to tarot because I pretty much use tarot for readings every single day I love to use tarot I have I have a couple different decks that I use and I use um some oracles but mainly overall i really uh, use tarot and and i use oracles so i'm going to talk to you about my process how i do it how i set up you know and um if you're interested in either getting a reading you'll learn more about the process of divination it's very interesting and ancient and I have so much respect for it. And um, the other thing that I do every day is not only work with the tarot and oracles, but along with divination, every day I'm working with spirit. And I'll break down that for you also. If you look at some of the writings on this website, you will definitely see that there are several writings on working with spirit and things like that but i'm going to condense some things and also revise and add to some of the content that have to do specifically with um, divination and working with spirit and um devotion really to a higher purpose in life knowing that there's something bigger and greater than just ourselves so Look for that. Um, beyond that, yesterday was very busy. We, I had a um, a cell for readings, and um, it was very successful. I was busy all day. I literally worked from the beginning to the end of the day, purposely because the energy was really good, and I wanted to milk that energy for all it was worth. And also, I had the quiet time that I needed to go ahead and get the readings done. And it was it was definitely chilly out too. So I didn't want to really be outside. So I put a lot into that. Did some baking for um, spiritual purposes and, you know, just 
did a lot of good um, physical stuff so I could balance out the sitting and doing readings and and, and being in inside my person and doing readings and then doing you know balancing it out with some external things as well so yeah um, some of the things on my list of to-dos are really fostering stronger communication during this time and um, scheduling things better with my planner and every day no matter what there's some journaling going on of some sort documenting my life story this right here this is a part of my journaling and then I also have several journals that I'm keeping outside of this that I write in but beyond that I just wanted to share you share with you all a little bit of my process and my day again I'm in my kitchen I'm about to go up here and get myself ready shower and do my hair and do my makeup and you know find some time to do my toes and my fingernails today just have a a nice day it's going to be in the 50s today so it's still going to be a little chilly but it'll warm up for a little while so that's a little bit warm for us for winter so i'm definitely loving it as you all might know i'm up in the mountains in colorado and i am really in awe of this journey so if you are you know um enjoying this time or you're having some challenges at this time or learning a lot at this time or you know you're just enjoying the moment and the now then definitely drop a message and let me know that you're there and um, if you're listening to these then let me know too um, soon we will get into relationship stuff that's going to be up after and soon after the divination stuff relationship stuff is huge because every day that is the most thing that I get readings on that I do readings on for other people is relationships and life path and business and finance creativity and things like that success in life uh, people not knowing where they are at all and I have done so many readings at this point. There's been thousands of readings at this point. <laughs> and I'm not over-exaggerating. So, again, if you're looking for a reading, I do have a special that I've been doing. Um, contact me and we will talk. I do have a special. If you're looking for a phone reading with me, I will work with you. Because I have some ongoing clients and I'm not trying to get rich off of people individually. It's just not going to work like that. I'm already making great money doing what I do. And um, so many opportunities are just open. And um, spirit is, is definitely in my corner. So if you need a reading, y'all, I do offer readings at, it's $25. And you will get 20 minutes with me via phone and we'll get down to business okay if you have some questions you can ask those questions during the reading and it's generally two questions and we're going to talk at length on those topics that you want to discuss and then the other thing is if you don't know what to ask but you just need some guidance i will definitely be able to do a general reading and a general reading it's pretty much me channeling a message, looking at uh, the divination tools I have. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. We can synchronize our schedules. I work with people from all over the world already, not just in person. Definitely do, I do video, I do phone, I do, um, you know, audio and live readings. And so, however, but these readings I'm talking about right now would be done via phone, but we can do we can do all kind of different stuff, okay? So just reach out, and I look forward to talking to you soon. And um, like I said, I've, I've been about to get off of here for a minute, but I just feel in the moment. It's just um, a good morning. It's a very good morning. 
as Abraham Hicks says. One thing I'll just say lastly is, you know, if you are trying to find your way, journaling. Journaling is something that I'm going to highly recommend. And, um, and get a reading, you know? You can't go wrong with that. All right, I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace.